see it, but you can't do anything about it. The best thing to do is pray for them, that God will open their eyes. How many times have we been deceived? How many times? You, let me tell you something. When you watch, when you watch people, and you watch people, and, and I don't know, are you a, are you a people watching? I, I watch people all the time, and I'm thinking that ain't gonna work because we done been down that road, have we? We've been down that hard road. And you say, well, I'm gonna try this. And, and the father waited. He had the fatted calf. He was waiting on that boy to come home. He's waiting on us to come home. And he's waiting on us too. If we are home, that we got a bad attitude, we need to get it right because we're fixing to stand before him one day. And we don't need to resent what people have. And how many times in life have people got been blessed and they can't stand it because their brother's blessed, their sister's blessed, They've got this, and I hadn't got that, and, and they hide it. They try to hide it, but it's still in their heart. And when something happens, you'll see it rise up. And I'll tell you one thing. You, you, uh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who gave you what you got? Who did? Every gift you have, every good gift comes from the Father of love. Every good gift. Now, let me just say this. You don't own it. You just bought it. And you'll give them a count of it one day to God and say, Lord, what did you do? What did you do with what I gave you? Well, Lord, I thought it was mine. It never was yours. Now, he allows you to have it, but he wants you to turn around and bless him with it. See, the, 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 y'all know the, the uh, Jordan River? Do you know where it ends? Dead Sea. The Dead Sea. sea. Yeah. The Dead Sea? Yeah. See, if you ain't got no life flowing, a lot of times we stop giving, we stop loving, and we find excuses. Why did you get so mad at your brother, man? Can't you forgive him? Can't you say, praise God, he's come home. He has quit his, his sinning. He's come home. No, I'm not going to accept that. I'm not forgiving him either. I'll tell you one thing. He doesn't deserve it. And, he, and the guy really didn't know his need. Now, who was lost this time? Mm -hmm. the boy that was at home. Mm -hmm. He was the one that needed help, but he couldn't see. Now, what's, what's our need today? We have, we have a need, don't we? We have needs. We each one of us have needs. Uh, women have needs that men don't need, and vice versa. And uh, will God meet your needs according to his riches and glory? That's what he said. We need to know the word, get in the word, and the, and the, don't get mad because somebody gets the fatty cash. Don't get mad because somebody got was blessed. Don't get you say, well, their family got saved, and I got my neighbor told me the other day, said my little boy has got saved and baptized the other day. Hallelujah! If you can't be joyous over that, I mean, surely we need joyous over souls getting saved. Yeah. And see, when we quit that, and we get upset well everybody else no wait a minute wait a minute we're so blessed in america we don't deserve to even talk to god sometimes we're so prideful and arrogant god says i want to bless you yeah, but he said when you get this attitude he said it's going to hurt you it's going to hurt your family it's going to hurt your future now let me let me just say this did you know your children they don't do what you say do they you say a lot of things. They do what you do. And when you have an attitude, get around your grandkids a little bit and watch them. And they they know you. They know me. They know what I think. They know what I do. They know my attitude. They know my wife. They know what she does. And the kids know you. And they see through stuff. So we just got to be, be, be transparent. Just be honest. You know, I don't measure I love what Dr. Stanley, he, he said this morning, he said, God bless me failed in front of you so y'all will see my fault. Well, that's just the way we are. We're human. And we got, have you got fault? Have we all got fault? Yes. Have we all got shortcomings? <coughs> Did we fail God? Yes. I talked to a lady in Walmart. I, I was asking him about a relationship with the Lord, and she said, you know, my mother always told me, my grandmother said, always told me, said, I always, always want to be what people think I am, what people think I am. I would like to live up to what they think I am. 
because really and truly, I know what I am. Right. We know we're sinners. We, if you're a child of God, you know you failed, and we need help. Can we call on God okay. today and say, Lord, you know, I, I want to have a right attitude. Uh, do I? Do you ever get jealous? Well, oh, I was telling my wife. I said, and I was telling they. I, I said, preachers get jealous of preachers. You know, if you don't have somebody preach, you don't want somebody to outdo you and out preach you. you don't want somebody. That's just that's stupid, but that's jealousy. Okay. And a lot of times we think, well, why don't we be around that person? You know, they make me look bad and this and that. Well, don't put, you know, quit worrying about that. Let God exalt you. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and God will exalt you. It's not about us to start with, it's about Him. And we go around and like, what about me? What about me? What about me? God says, it ain't about you. It's about loving people. It's about getting people to glory. And thank God for you that, that do that. You work so hard to try to get people in, and you love people, and you pray for people, and God's got a calling on your life. And sometimes we get kind of crossroads. So let's pray together today. Let's pray for Terry. Pray the Lord to help him and encourage him. I know he's... He's still fighting these battles and that the Lord will take care of him. And if you're not saved today, if you've never trusted Jesus Christ, why don't you do it today? Why don't you call on him now? Come as a sinner and he'll forgive you and he'll write your name in the Lamb's <coughs> Book of Life. And it's from the heart that you believe. And God will save you if you'll call on him from your heart. And you're serious about God and you want to follow him. I guarantee you he'll come into your life today and change your life and make you ready for heaven. If you'll just obey what he tells you to do. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your will. Ask your special blessings on you here. We're just going to lift him up today, Lord. Yes, and I Lord. pray you'll encourage him and strengthen him. Lord, we just pray for each person that's here today and you know every need. And I pray you'll meet our needs. Bless us this day. Continue to lead us by your spirit and help us to honor Jesus with our lives. Be with Teresa and the family and those that are fighting battles, those that have lost loved ones, I pray you encourage them, strengthen their lives. Thank you for those that care and share your love. In Jesus' name, we start. Amen. 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 Amen.